Hello, everybody. We want to give you a, a little surprise here. What do you think we're doing with this? This right here. Now, it's a crib mattress. But let me tell you something. It may not be what you think. Hey, where'd you go? Hello. We, should we tell them right now? So, I know, <clears throat> excuse me, that many thoughts are probably running through your mind when you see us with a crib mattress. What could they be doing? Why would they have a crib mattress? But if you really know us, you know it's not a baby. <laughs> right? Mayonnaise mustache? Ain't no baby. We are building a couch. Yeah, a couch. So, <clears throat> when you live in a tiny house, you have a hard time finding tiny furniture. So, got a brilliant idea to get one of these suckers. 12 bucks at the Habitat store. And we're going to build a couch. Aren't we? In case I haven't told any of you guys. <clears throat> or I haven't seen any of you guys. He's thrilled. He's so excited and he can't wait to build something else. I am so <laughs> sick of building something. But this is cool. But I will be partaking in building a crib mattress couch with my wonderful wife that I love so very much. It's better than having a baby. Ugh. Would you rather build a couch or have a baby? <clears throat> okay. Enough talking Build a couch? Uh, Alright, yeah, okay. He picks couch. So, <clears throat> yeah. And, and, it was may have been awful of me, but I took somewhat advantage of this situation. Didn't I? I don't know. With that over there? Oh, because I'm doing laundry tomorrow? No, 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 no. I may have took advantage. Oh. We bought a fancy tool to build this couch the fancy way. We bought a fancy tool, and I'm going to try it out. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. Because I've never had one of these. Never had a reason to have one of them. But we're going to try it out, and I'm going to let you know how it goes. Yeah. So basically, this couch is built with two by fours, and more wood. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I've seen several different designs online, and we're kind of just like taking the inspiration that we saw and making it our own. And it's only going to have one arm, so that's different than what I've seen online. But two by fours and one by threes. Yeah, is what we're going to be making us out of. It's going to be really cute. So. Stick around and watch this process. I'm not really sure how much of this and what parts we're gonna video, but and yeah. like the rest of this house, guys, you know we live about ninety percent off the grid. We're gonna be building this all with solar. We're gonna have yeah, I made a mess with my sandwich. We're gonna be using uh, all solar power today. Right now, we got a nice sunny day, and we're sitting at. 14.7 volts so uh, we're gonna be running circular saw charging batteries for cordless drills and it's like 40 degrees outside and she wants to do all this stuff so i guess we're gonna go outside and do some well she's gonna do cutting and the marking so if it's not right it's her fault i'm just gonna hold the video i just don't want to be couchless until summer so here we go yeah we got a little lawn chair so she's anxious to go so let's get started so let's go Okay, so apparently he wants to film me measuring in case somebody out there has no idea how to measure. Hey. Hi, Larry. This is all part of the plan. You gotta take measurements and you gotta figure it out. Yeah. So this is a crib mattress and they're all pretty much the same size. This one <clears throat> measures um, 51 by 27 and we're gonna go an extra inch in each direction. So we're going to go 52 by 28 and that will allow for a half inch all the way around for, you know, good measure. Yeah. 
Alright, so we're going to build the base first and then do the arms last so we can judge the base on how high we want it to sit down on. We're going to do the base and the legs first because the legs are part of the base. It's all one piece there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sunny day we're using all these tools and we're still setting above 13 volts charging real nice all right we're gonna open up this new jig hit the battery charger out of the way We're gonna see what's inside of this thing. Like I said, never used one of these things before. Don't know nothing about it. Got enough tape. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Let's see what the box looks like. Alright. Inside the box, we got instructions. Two inch clamp. What? We're not digging these ones. Here we are. No, we're not. We're yeah. going to go in from the front, remember? Like she did. We're digging the um, slats. No. Oh, okay. Sorry, a little miscommunication. So we got a little clamp. bit jig itself driver bit uh, bit stop box of screws inch and a quarter and two and a half and a box so This looks like it's made to be set in different positions. Oh. Jig can be set in separate positions. And it also, oops, also clamps onto your board. And then you can lock it from moving coming on down so get your board settings thickness settings how deep
So, we'll get this thing put up on a board and see what we got. Okay guys, so this thing's pretty slick. I'm gonna do this with one hand and try and show you how to do it. Put your wood right here inside the jig. You'll line it up, get everything set up right. This is just a little cheap little cut off, just for showing purposes. And you'll squeeze your handle, tighten it up. See, it's tight, won't come out now. I'm gonna do this one handed. And you got their little lock over here. Just turn that, lock it. That way it don't go anywhere. Oh, you gotta turn it the right way. Lock it so it don't go anywhere. Get the little drill bit. You've already got it set to the proper size depth. Throw it in the end of your drill like this. All right, I'm gonna try and do this one handed. So if it shakes all over the place, I'm sorry. So you sink it all the way down to the stop. The boss is gonna hold it. Pull it back up out. Here, we'll do another one since she's holding the camera now. Hello. You got it lined up, you hold it. You sink your little hole down to the stop. Pull it back up out. Now, take your bit out. Put your driver bit in. It comes with it. Unlock it. Release. You got two pretty little pocket holes. Which I didn't. I didn't. Two pretty little holes. Now, depending on the width of your material and what you're drilling, they have different screws for the different lengths. <coughs> Set your screw down in there. Put your bit in here. You can do it. <laughs> uh, it's magnetic. It gets a hold in the wrong spot. And then you'll sink your screw in. Fancy. And depending on what you have, what material, obviously if you were buttoning into two sides right here, you could look and check and see if you're at the right length. That screw's a little too long. You can see where it sticks out past the end of the board. Ooh, you're getting blurry there. There we go. So you change your screw length on that. But that is how this little jewel works. Now if I can get my screw back out, I'll cheat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do these other ones. Look at the mess we're making in my kitchen. It's fun. I think it'll be all right. Oh, Siri, so already put this one together? Yeah, that one's already put together. I was on the phone with a client when he did this, but here it is. Looky ducky. Fancy schmancy pancy. It's all nice and smooth. This is all the further we've got on the couch so far. And we've been working for hours. <laughs> so, is there anything else you want to say in this segment? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, she's got a little frame built here, base of it. See these little pocket holes? Makes for some nice clean edges. There's nothing on the outside to see. What do you think? You have a glowing head. <laughs> a glowing this? orb. There you go. <laughs> yep, it's a little short. For now. Now this is dedication to a project. We had a <clears throat> we had a little uh, small group meeting with some of our brothers and sisters at the church tonight, and uh, we're back home now, and it's late after nine, and she's right back at it, working on her couch. Well, you seen us running the saw today. You saw it while it was charging. Well, it's obviously nighttime. And it's not charging now. When she sees that saw kick in, you'll see these numbers change. 
she just had it running a little bit ago making a cut so it's starting to recover from the power that she drew out of it just a second ago dedication right there headlight cutting boards we'll, we'll show you what she's working with she's still out here on the porch cutting boards with a headlight in the dark in the dark after all our neighbors have probably gone to bed so neighbors if you're watching this i'm sorry i just didn't want to leave my living room like this for another week Okay, the builder is frustrated. Building. Because I need more hands. This will not stay in place. I need hands. This will not stay in place. You need hands. Yeah. There's a hand. Thanks. That hole is all covered in dust. Okay. <laughs> She's working on putting the uh, slats. in the bottom that the crib mattress is going to sit in. Or sit on. We'll have a whole row of these going across the bottom. And I'm almost done. You are? Yeah. We still got these to go. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not on this side. So. I'm dedicated to finishing this tonight. <laughs> Dark outside. Getting close to 10 o'clock. Still hammering on it. Only crazy people build sofas at night. <laughs> well. Okay. What do you think of the base, boss? Lots are in. We'll put the thing on there. Let's see if it fits. The back and the sides aren't on yet, but. Well, it plenty fits. We'll sit on it. I feel like a dwarf. Look at my legs. <laughs> I think we built it tall enough. You said you wanted it tall enough. <laughs> All right, on to the next part. Okay. So, the frame and everything is done now. Um, we got all the seat slats and all the back slats and the side slats and such, and it's done. So, the next thing I'm going to do, not tonight, is... Um, make a cover of some sort for the crib mattress and then I've got three cushions that's going to go across the back that I'm going to make covers for to match whatever I do the mattress part and so we'll post a separate video later on once I get it all decorated but for now it's done we built a couch <laughs> yeah you built a couch <laughs> all right everybody time for showers time, time for time. showers time to clean up our mess we're out of here see you bye everybody bye.